Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see universal control in action. Apple have released macOS 12.3 and iPadOS 15.4 with a long awaited feature, you know, like almost more than six months. We all been waiting for this update from Apple. And finally, the universal control feature is now available. Even though it is still in beta, it works perfectly without any issues so far from my experience. As you can see, you can use your magic keyboard and magic mouse or your Mac keyboard and trackpad to control the iPad. You can transfer files between your iPad to Mac computer or Mac to iPad. Here in this case, I'm using an iMac 27 inch 2019 model and it works seamlessly. Here are the list of compatible Mac computers and iPads that work with universal control systems. So MacBook introduced from 2016 and later for MacBook Pro 2016 and later and up to Mac Pro 2019 and later are compatible. Then it comes to iPad, all the iPad Pro models are compatible and for iPad 6th generation, 3rd generation of iPad Air and 5th generation of iPad Mini are compatible to use. And the very important thing, if you have the compatible device, make sure you have signed in with the same Apple ID on both devices, you know, authenticated with two-factor authentication. And Universal Control currently doesn't support the business ID or school, uh, college related Apple IDs, which are, you know, said to be managed Apple IDs. So it won't work on uh, the managed Apple ID and make sure your device is within the 10 meters range, the Mac and iPad as well. And the final thing is you should not use the cellular connection or hotspot or tether things for, you know, the internet connection sharing feature. And it has to be the Wi-Fi connection on both, you know, with Wi-Fi router on both iPad and Mac computer to make this universal control feature work. So here is how you can enable the universal control for the first time. After updating to the latest Mac OS and iPad OS version, navigate to system preferences on your Mac and then navigate navigate to displays there you can see the sidecar feature works like always you know if it is compatible then you will see the sidecar feature as you can add a display and you can use your ipad ipad pro display as an extended display a secondary display or you can mirror your mac screen on your ipad that normally works but here in universal control you can see we have three options when you tap on that universal control and you can select any option you know after understanding it you can select and deselect any option even later also so here i have selected all the options to seamlessly connect any every time i turn on my ipad pro and as you can see if i select the display extending option then the sidecar will take place and there you will see the iPad screen as the third option and of course you can rearrange the display based on where you are placing uh, the iPad at your work desk. So based on the setup you can choose whether it is left or right side that is not going to be a problem. So here when I move the cursor to the edges the sides of my iMac I see a kind of a blurred bar which gives me similar interface with the cursor the mouse cursor trying to pop up from the screens so while accessing for the first time i have to understand the interface that i'm going to use the universal control feature and if i you know kind of push it further to the ipad pro display then immediately the cursor will you know pop out of that that imac control bar you know and it'll uh, fall into the ipad pro display so then i can use my magic mouse or the magic trackpad if i'm using the macbook pro to navigate between apps and i can control everything within the ipad easily uh, without any you know compatible wireless mouse connected to it so my magic mouse or the trackpad will work seamlessly the way we can use the bluetooth mouse with the ipads so while typing i noticed a little bit delay but that is not kind of an issue even though it is not a big thing but i hope in the future upcoming updates apple will fine tune it the latency is kind of felt while typing using my bluetooth keyboard maybe while writing uh, several uh, passage of articles i may no notice that latency you know a bit troubling so other than that it works beautifully uh, for navigating with the magic mouse and here you can see from the finder app in my iMac computer I'm dragging an image file and dropping it in the photos app you can use any application browser application any attachments have to be done your multitasking panel it is not going to be a problem I have also tried to copy you know simply drag and drop a video file which comes around 1.3 GB in size and transfer completed successfully without any wires I, I was simply using my magic keyboard and magic mouse to seamlessly connect and interact between the iPad
ipad and the mac computer so this is how the universal control actually works i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe for more iphone ipad and mac related tips and tricks have a wonderful day